a major Unity security vulnerability impacting all versions dating back to 2017 was found today and published by Unity. And in this video I'll show you an overview of why you should update your app if you're a Unity developer, what you can do if you're just playing Unity games, and the impact of the security vulnerability. This is impacting all Unity versions newer than 2017.1, so all Unity applications and games that were developed in the last eight years are vulnerable to this exploit, and it also affects Android, Windows, Linux, and Mac, so it is quite severe. Now if you check the CVE record, uh, in case you don't know what a CVE is, it stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, and it is basically a number and a severity scale that is given to each computer exploit found. And this Unity exploit it just has the number 2025-59489. If we check the vulnerability details uh, given by Unity here, and all of the links will be linked in the description down below so you can check for yourself. It was discovered on June 4th, so basically this was found a few months ago. The developer basically gave Unity time the vulnerability, so now there is a patch out and all of the developers can patch their applications themselves that are vulnerable to this exploit. Yesterday the patch was available. I'll go more into the technical details of what exactly this is later in the video, but first we'll check on how you can patch this yourselves. Unity published a patcher tool for this, but the link will also be in the description. So basically how it works, you give it your pre-built game file from Android, Mac or Windows, and then it patches that and then you can re-upload it to itch.io. So that's what I've also done here. As you can see, I've updated all of my games uh, so they're no longer vulnerable to this patch except for Linux because Unity did not provide a patch in this application for Linux so there is a patch in the Unity Hub but if you check my Unity Hub right here these are my projects that I had to fix and you can see they had these editor versions that I'm using have a known security issue so I would have to update the game to a newer Unity version, which could brick the game files. So that's why there is no Linux build available with this patch for now for my games. So use the Linux version on your own risk. All of the LTS versions, they are patched. Uh, so if your game is using an LTS version, you can update to the patched LTS version, rebuild your project and you should be fine. As I said, the link for this patch tool will be in the description down below. You just download the tool if you're on Windows or a Mac and then you paste in your path to the game file and then it will patch it and then you can publish it again. If you have published an Android app, then you should of course uh, upload the patched version to Google Play so that all of the Android users of your app have the patched version. And then also there are keep it in contact with Valve for the Steam client because there are quite a lot of uh, Unity games on Steam that are vulnerable to this exploit right now. So, uh, if you're wondering what this exploit is all about, then we'll dive into the more technical details right now. It allows local code execution on devices that run Unity build applications. So these are the platform specific technical notes. I will not dive in too deep to this, but just to give you a quick overview, of what this means. If there is malware on your system, it allows it to exploit the vulnerability in your Unity code to do a privilege escalation where it goes from a user to maybe admin or root or kernel level even. That means if there is a, a virus on your system, it, it will be able to get more privileges on your system and basically, in the worst case scenario, have full control over your system. If you're a developer, First of all, please update and patch your applications. And if you're a user, please check if there are any patches available. And if not yet, write an email, contact your favorite game developers and just make them aware of this exploit so they can patch it and you're no longer vulnerable to this. So in Windows, could be vulnerable privilege escalation. That means other applications such as third party game launchers or something could gain more privileges than they, 
than they should have on your system. There is no way to prevent or even discover that a third party application has registered your application as a, a schema handler. That means you should really check if there is a patch available for your software and patch your software as soon as possible. This also uh, applies to Linux and Mac and Android, but the Unity application patcher will patch your DDL file. And on Mac, uh, there are also issues caused by this where the privileges could be escalated and it could access your camera or user document folders, for example. All Linux systems are also vulnerable to this, uh, such as AppArmor, Firewall, IC Linux, which is basically in all of the Linux applications. Basically, vulnerable arguments could bypass policy restrictions and become a viable exploit path. This is kind of pissing me off because they have not released a Linux version of the Unity application patcher. So as a developer, you would have to do what I said earlier and uh, get the new LTS versions, which could potentially break your project. That's why I have decided to not patch my Linux games because it is a too big of a time and risk for me. So if you're on Linux and you want to play my games, please consider using the Windows file and launch it via something like Wine or Proton. So use the Linux files on your own risk. They're still available on Edge, but please use them on your own risk. That was it for me. All of the links will be available in the description down below. If you have any more questions, you can ask me in the comments down below. If this was helpful to you, please uh, consider liking and subscribing to this channel. I'm still developing my uh, Godot game, but I don't have that much time because I'm studying cybersecurity actually. So this was also kind of why I decided to make a video about this because this is still a vulnerability that will affect a lot of games and users just to raise awareness of this issue. Thank you for watching and bye bye.